Wow. I'm going to have a good look at the menu. The menu's huge, right? The menu is huge. The last I counted, there was 126 things on there. <sighs> OK, great. Right, let's start off with, oh, fried ravioli. Love them. OK. Do you know what? What about the linguine escatori? OK. What is the catch of the day? That's uh, mahi mahi. Let's do that. Absolutely. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm. Decor's hideous is stuck in a time warp. Takes me back to 1981. OK, I have a fried ravioli for Chef Ramsay. Fried ravioli for the chef. My food is the best food that's possibly made. But the problem with the restaurant is that we're fighting so much. Fried ravioli. OK. Fried ravioli. What's inside the ravioli, please? Uh, it's a five cheese stuffed ravioli. And the five cheeses are? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, wow. It's a pre-made ravioli. So they're not homemade? They're, those are not homemade. If we don't even make them here, it'd be nice to know what's inside them. I'll find out right now for you. Thank you. How's it going? I need to find out what cheeses are in the ravioli. What cheeses are in the ravioli? Yeah. yeah. What kind of cheese is in the bread and ravioli? Read the box. It's a ricotta cheese, Joe. So. It's a ricotta cheese. Oh, my god. Ah. Horrible. But something deep, fried, frozen. Doesn't even taste like cheese. Jesus, no. You got a whole uh, whey, and you got American grana. And uh, a skim cheese. Yeah. OK, perfect. You got it? Thank you, yes. Yeah, not good. Chef Ramsey, I checked on the cheeses for you. Uh, mascarpone. Mascarpone. Ricotta. Ricotta. Uh, also, uh, American Garana, something called a uh, cheese whey and culture blend. Where the fuck is that from in Italy? I don't. I have no idea where that's from. Ooh. And a uh, skimmed cheese. Skimmed cheese in a fried ravioli. What does that mean? It's fat-free cheese dipped in fat. Dipped in fat, yeah. OK, thank you. OK. Skimmed cheese in a fried ravioli. Oh. Some pans. Yeah, it looks good. Hey, uh, Joe. My, my. Here, I'll yeah. bring it out, tell him. Oh, damn. Oh, chef, this is the fish special. It's the mahi mahi. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Mm, it's mush. Yeah. Bland, greasy, no seasoning. Fish is dreadful. Um, this is a special fish. Yes, that is a special fish. Mm, no, no taste for me. It tastes like mush. Almost like it's sort of old. The food just isn't the way it used to be. With all the fighting going on, the standards and the quality, everything, it tanked. And that's special. Holy crap. OK. Uh, he said that this one right here, where the fish was just dreadful. It's all right. I'm still hungry anyway. I can eat that. I absolutely think he's wrong about the mahi mahi. And I thought it was perfectly fine. It was just the way it's supposed to be. That's from the mouth of my chef that knows know, taste probably know. more, OK? That guy's up here, and I'm down here. What do I know if he cooks it good or not? I don't know. It's his opinion. I don't what want you, you don't to know? feel bad, because you I don't feel bad. Right. I know. I'm right, waiting fine. for his opinion. What the hell? Chef Ramsey is here to help us. And my brother takes this attitude that it's all bullshit complaints. It's not. You got to listen to those complaints and keep your mouth shut. Here's the queso fundido and flour tortillas that you can wrap it up with. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. It's just like a greasy mess. So full of oil. I can feel my arteries just squeezing. Mary, is that microwaves? I don't know. I'm done, thank you, though. Can't really afford a heart attack. OK. Thank you. You're welcome. Chair Ramsey, we don't feel happy. Wow. It's not good. Greg, are you putting that cheese on the microwave? Yes. Thank you. Here is the chili relleno. Thank you. Ooh, that is a very weird looking granite. Salty. What cheese is that? What is that? Sorry? So rubbery. Cheese is dreadful. Usually the cheese is melted inside. But it's spongy and rubbery, no? Honestly, that's dreadful, that stuff. Will you show that to Mary as well, please, darling? Yes. Damn. I'm starving. Greg, look at the cheese. Chef said it's rubbery what kind and. Of cheese you use? It's queso friere. Queso what? Friere. Eh? 
What is queso brier? It's similar to the queso fresco. And it wasn't available, so I couldn't get it. Hi, Greg. He doing whatever he want. There's no Mexican. You don't want to do it, he's saying, don't do it. OK. He say the cheese is brier. Brier. He said it was what cheese? Brier. 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 Uh, something that. That is no Mexican. No. That was dreadful. And this is the cochinita pibio. This is the cochinita. Corn tortillas. Corn tortillas, thank you. How is your cochinita? There's no seasoning. There's no. It's all very. Uh, what is it? It's all very bland. Hmm. I think it needs to dry. It's very dry. Why is that so dry? Before I make the cochinitas really good, but now oh. I know. It's not better so. when you made them. Yeah, now. Now that yeah. Greg's making them, they're not as good. Yeah. I think you need to go back in the kitchen. I don't like the kitchen. In what way? It's all this. It's uh, just leave the flores no for work. I don't like the kitchen because it's too tiny kitchen and it's too hot. Do you see the kitchen? It's too hot. Let me go and check in how you next molcajete. Excellent. Come on. That's really dry. That's serious. What you give to dry? I do it exactly how she says every time I do it. So if it's not working, well, then you come back here and do it. That's no good. Why do you give it to him? I don't know. Don't no. check on your floor staff. No. Huh? Don't check on your floor staff. Hi. Hey, this molcajete is coming up. This one should at least blow his top this time. Let's see. We're batting zero so far. <laughs> here we go. Jesus. Hey. So, this is the mocajete. Like something out of Harry Potter. I feel like I'm having a facial steam. OK. That's the, uh, the cactus. cactus. Yeah. Jeez, heebie jeez. Let's have a little taste of the cactus first, shall we? There's your bit. Mm. It's like okay. eating the inside of a golf ball. It needs to be more cooked. It needs to be seasoned, bland. Bitter. They cook. Could you uh, grab us a package of the old burgers? Sweet sourdough instead of buns. We gotta do what we gotta do. Get them out the burger. They're gonna love it anyway. Sourdough or buns. Hell yeah. I was just gonna keep trying to put the food out. We're going back to regular fries. So we started making the burgers on sourdough bread and using the frozen French fries in and the frozen ground beef. In an effort to make good on the orders... Order up, Ashley! ..a desperate kitchen staff lowers its standards and starts delivering cheap substitutes. Sorry about that. Good. It, your bun? That is all we have is a bun. And the disappointment combined with the long wait is too much for one customer to bear. I'm really going to try. Would you like something else? Well, you ran out of the fries, you ran out of the bun. This is bad. The whole dinner is gone. Uh, it can't, the burger came back. Take Sorry. it off for check. In tears. Oh, uh, she's in tears? Yeah! <laughs> what is that pile of shit? What's that for? For the special burgers. What? Whoa, hey guys, why is that burger on there, the processed one? John, why did the 86 it when I said take it off? We haven't got the right buns, we shouldn't be serving it. And what's the point in lowering the standard just to keep it on? It doesn't make fucking sense. Boys, that's got to go bad. Yeah. He's afraid of pink, sorry. Ugh. Now I got two paper plates around some sort of big meatball. <laughs> How do you run out of potatoes? Such a shame because we got off to a really good start, but then standards started dropping. But John and Rick accepted the standards dropping, and they just were happy to send slop. So a real sad ending to the evening, because right now, we're back to square one. OK. Oh. This is the traditional Lucanico, the Greek sausage. This sausage. Look at that. Are they? Is that deep fried? They fry it and they saute with their wine. Bad. When you fry sausage like that, the flavor's gone. It looks like the remainder of a dog chew. That is a mess. Poo, it just smells of fryer. Where's the white wine and garlic? Too much grease. I mean, that's just grease. There's more grease in this plate than there is in the Greek house. 
I, I'm so sorry. I don't know. Just taste that, please. Does that remind you of Greece? Uh, only I taste garlic and grease. This area of Queens is called flushing. Right now, I'd like to flush these right down the toilet. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of garlic there, huh? <coughs> oh, Jesus. <coughs> oh, shit. You... Oh, shit. <coughs> you take some water, Dunning. You okay, Irene? I'm okay. I'm okay. <coughs> Emmanuel, the Locanico was too greasy. Doesn't have any wine sauce on the bottom. It was just plain greasy, so he can eat it. I don't think it's greasy. It's one of the best Locanico that uh, we have in this neighborhood. I don't know why he doesn't like it. You put a 30 seconds? Bro, let's make it good this time. Irini. Can we get this stuff uh, to chef? Okay, this is the pasticcio. Thank you, Dai. Wow, this is dreadful. It's like a bland pile of worms. It's bland. I mean, that is depressing. When something starts steaming that hot like that in the center, it confirms it's been microwaved. And as for that concoction, oh my god. Looks like the intestines of a cow. That is a mess. Popular? Yeah. That means no. Wow. Are we done? I'm so sorry, yes. Do we have anything else coming? No, do you want to look for something else? The bathroom, that's what I'd like to look for. Sorry. It just looks disgusting. Very creamy. Is it always this creamy? Yes, it's always creamy. It just looks like lobster was dead before they cooked it. They're from the lobsters from the tank. You want to take a look? OK. Is he dead? No, I think they're just sleeping. Is he, he must be dead. We keep a good eye on this. You keep a good eye on them? Surely not. He's fucked. Dead. A dead lobster. No, he's gone. Is he? No. Oof. What I'm concerned about is everything else in there. They've been feeding off that lobster. Yes. And then they become full of bacteria. Look, that is extremely unacceptable, dangerous. People could get extremely sick with that. I'll get rid of this right now. OK, please. Good. Can you take this? All right, love you, bye. You smell it. It don't smell. That lobster's fresh. Even though it died, it's. Good. This is my brother. Mike, how are you doing? Hey, Michael. Are you good? Good. I'm doing fine, yeah, thank you. Good. I know you saw a lobster in there that passed away. Well, I try to, we try to check that every day. I was just slightly concerned to see the dead lobsters in there. I try to freeze them right away, and then I make the best from that. OK. You must be busy. Uh, thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. OK. I want to serve you right now the chicken and garlic sauce. Uh, what is all that in there, the grease? Olive oil, garlic. You've got a little bowl. You just drain some of that out. It's like they're swimming. Thank you. Oh, dear. It's like a fucking Exxon Valdez there. Too much olive oil for it. You think there's too much olive oil in there? It's like a heart attack waiting to happen. I hope there's a hospital nearby. The chicken tastes absolutely dreadful. I just want you to taste the chicken. Just taste that. It's, a little, it's dry. You sound like a politician now. Jerry, I'm not fucking around. That's gross. Do me a favor. Can you ask your brother to taste that? Yeah. I want you to try this. What? What's the next dish? Paella. Send the paella. The paella. What did Michael say? He's trying it right now. We're gonna find oh, okay, out. Okay, fine. What do you have to say? I thought it was fucking good. I'll tell him that. Have faith on me, baby. This ain't a normal guy. It's a Brit, huh? They're pain in the neck. He thought it was fucking good. Well, if he thought that was fucking good, then I'm screwed. If you're screwed, imagine how I am. Yeah, and this is the... Uh, paella marinera. The lobster in this paella. Did it come from the tank? It comes from the tank. 
I'll start with the uh, thin spring roll, please. Good choice. Thank you. Can I go for the salmon as well, please, darling? For main course, I'll have a shepherd's pie, please, I think. OK. Thank you, Melissa. You're welcome. <coughs> I, I want to see you and Ramsay uh, chug. Chug. Yeah, yeah. Oh, smoke. Tuck them in the bed. Good night, chef. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very confident person, and I've been in the kitchen for a long time. I'm almost positive we'll get a good review. When you get a family business right, it goes on for generations. And here, it doesn't feel like a family-run business at all. Pubs are full of atmosphere, fun. It's got tweed neck curtains, like you're going to visit your granny. Weird. Here you are, spring rolls with Coleman's mustard. Wow. Very strange, bizarre looking spring roll. Are they popular on the menu? Um, people really like them. No doubt half the customers are drunk. This is the tough half hour of my life. Not a big hit. You like it? No. Brian's in the kitchen, like wondering. I'm just like, nope. Are you kidding me? He really thought that. I was gonna walk back there and be like, he loved it. You know, he, he wants you to come work for him. Come on. Let me try that one. Let me get you some clean silverware. Thank you. Go on. And what's this stuff with, please, uh, Melissa? On top is a balsamic reduction. He likes to use that a lot. He likes that, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he does. Yeah. He, on everything, he puts a little drizzle on. A little? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Always the sign of a very insecure chef when he macerates everything in balsam and vinegar. Look at this. Ah, horrible. Doesn't taste of salmon at all. Off through? Does my shepherd's pie have any balsam and vinegar? No. Good. Lovely. I don't even think he likes the water. He said, um, will my shepherd's pie have any balsamic vinegar on it? I said, I can assure you it will not. Do I? Do I dare? I don't like to come off conceited or cocky. I'm very good at what I do. I know the back of the house very well. I've done everything that's out there. Let's try that one. Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. It's just a big ball of grease. Very, very greasy. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> That's disgusting. Tony? Second door on the left. Oh. <coughs> oh, no. My God, something made it made him sick. I don't know if he went in the bathroom and threw up. But he ran in, he ran into the bed. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I mean, all we've done, all history. this happened is we have been attacked. Attacked? Attacked. Why are you Gordon, behaving like because this? Because I'm insulted. You verbally insulted me yesterday, and I held my I tongue out of class. I didn't tell you the truth. I didn't say nasty to? things to you. Really? OK, really, I didn't, really. When I no. told you about the burger, you refused to listen. You don't understand. You're judging me on you coming in here, disrupting the entire service. I've been doing this. Disrupting? You did disrupt us last night. How could I focus when you're on my What about my, my lunch? Food, when you're standing here what about talking to my husband. Me? What about when I cooked for you? Who disrupted you then? Everybody. What are you talking about? Blaming everybody again. I do my best so our business doesn't close because we can't find qualified people. You go get Miranda and that little Katie and Jessica. Bring them here the and let me see how they, they work. Will you here. do that? Of course. They're, oh. Do you know what? They're scared they're, of you. They're and scared. They're embarrassed. But unfortunately, you've convinced yourself in your little Amy's world that everything you cook, touch, send, is perfect. I do not. What? Are you, am I arguing? Garlic with aioli you? as well with white truffle. Well, that let me delicious. show you some. Can I show you reviews? Hundreds of reviews oh, no. that are excellent that oh, no. we didn't write that Not are from the real customers. On the internet again. No, good reviews. Real customers that have supported us for six years. Look at the way Look at the way. You're attacking my business attacking. and my life. This is I'm all I do is live this life every day. You're not telling me the problems. You are saying I'm delusional. I'm this. I'm this. I'm this. I'm this. <laughs>
Can we talk about what we came here to speak about, no. please? Yeah, let them feed it. Yeah, I want them to you told me to be honest. Says. I am always about honest. About the problems that you've had, that you cannot talk to her, your wife, and the issues that she can't take criticism before yeah, she knows I that. met That's her. That's fine. I have no problem saying that. That's fine. Wow. I think you're too far gone. Okay, then let's end the show. You think I'm too far gone? There's no hope. Yala, yala. It's Christmas. Let's go home. Okay. They can't help people. They can't help themselves, and cannot ever take one ounce of criticism. And if you're not willing to change, I'm not going to butt heads, argue, scream, whatever you want to say. But this is not normal. And it's not normal for a restaurant to go through that many staff. It's not normal for a kitchen that small to have 65 items on the menu. And it's not normal for the level of animosity that you've built inside this restaurant and outside. You have the right to run the business the way you want to run your business. I have the right to do the right thing. And the right thing for me is to get out of here. Good luck. Wow. Yeah, of course that's what I wanted. I don't participate in this bullshit. Give me a break. Can they take this thing off me? We don't need his help. Maybe he knows that. It all has to come down. And now he's gone. He walked away. He'll go on with his life. Sammy and I will go on with our life.